Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have a very cool episode for you, although I personally think every episode of Tech Tips is cool because I make them. Uh, and if I didn't think they were cool, I wouldn't be able to get away with it, would I? Well, today we have the Linksys WES 610N, which is a <clears throat> four-port dual-band end entertainment bridge. So what does that do? In some ways, the functionality of this device, which is right here, is kind of similar to the wireless N range extender that we looked at a little while ago. But instead of taking your wireless network coverage, which is like this, and kind of existing on the outside to give you an extension of wireless coverage, this guy is going to take your wireless network coverage, you're going to put it kind of somewhere inside there, and then it's going to extend out into four different wired connections. So the reason they call it an entertainment bridge is because the way Cisco and Linksys imagine you using this is as the hub of an entertainment center. Say, for example, you have a Blu-ray player, a smart TV, an Xbox 360, and a media PC. Now you can take that one wireless end dual band connection, you can connect that to your router, and then you can split that out into four discrete wired connections, which saves you the money of buying individual wireless adapters for all of the devices in your entertainment center and potentially causing additional interference because you've got so many wireless signals going to the same place. So let's take a closer look at the hardware of the WES 610N. So the first thing we see on the front of the unit is the power light, the LAN light. So this is for the wired connections. We've also got a WPS button for one touch setup, which is how we're going to set it up. And finally, we have a wireless indicator light, which right now is not lit up because we haven't set it up. If I go ahead and rotate the unit, you can see it is quite large. So it has a substantial size, and that is because it has not only the wife adapter inside that is a dual band N Wi-Fi adapter but it also has the four port switch so here in the back you can see I have two of the ports occupied one by my Xbox 360 the other by my media PC which is actually my notebook and then we've got an additional two these are all 10 100 ports which in the context of what this would be used for which is light media streaming and then say for example internet on your smart TV YouTube videos uh, updating the firmware on your consoles Xbox live that kind of stuff that is perfectly adequate. We've also got a 12 volt power in and the included adapter is obviously not visible because it's plugged in at my feet. All right guys, so we're going to show you the easy way to set up this device this time. With the range extender we showed you the more complicated way using the wizard CD and this time we're going to use WPS to do a sort of one button, although technically it's two buttons because you have to press one button on two different devices. So we've got our Linksys E4200 router, which is a 450 megabit router, and we're going to press the WPS button on the back of it. The light is now flashing. Then we are going to go ahead and I'm going to move around to the front where I can reach the button properly. We're going to press the WPS button on our entertainment bridge. That light is now flashing, so let's see how long this takes. Because I've actually only used WPS once before in my life. I suspect they are communicating right now in ways that we humans cannot fathom. Oh, hey, there we go. The wireless N activity LED is now lit. So let's find out, moving over to my media PC, which is my laptop, if we have an internet connection. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a browser here. Let's see if Google.com can load. We are using a wired connection. Oh, not yet, not yet. Wait for it. Okay, we're going to have a little mini episode within this episode, and that is going to be how to renew your IP address. ipconfig slash release, ipconfig slash renew. And now let's try again. Ha-ha! There we go. That is how long it took. We just, I mean, we could reboot if we're not technical enough to do an IP renew. But that is how long it took to set up our wireless and entertainment bridge. So give us a minute, and we're going to show you the entertainment bridge in action, bridging your entertainment tomorrow of the future. Today. All right, so here we are signing into Xbox Live. Slick and I are going to play some... Uh, 
split screen. Oh, and it wants me to update my console because I haven't actually used this thing since I got it because um, I'm sort of more of a PC guy. So I'm going to apply the update, which I will use my handy dandy media bridge, entertainment bridge, sorry, in order to download an update. So obviously I will be back once this is done. Okay, so guys, we're booting up our game here. Our uh, console has restarted, but I want you to check this out too. So we've actually got this uh, media PC system pinging google.ca continuously over here. And the ping times are actually very consistent. So you do have options in terms of running power line in order to get to your entertainment center. And then you could connect a switch to your power line network and plug that into everything. But uh, it looks like the WES 610N is actually a viable option. Check this out. So we're getting sort of 17 to 30 millisecond ping times to Google. And now we're gonna, we did manage to update our Xbox and we did it all in a matter of about, I don't know, I guess the setup time was about a minute and a half. So now it is time to play some multiplayer split screen with Slick. And I guess we will see you guys next time on NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from your favorite online e-tailer, NCIX.com.